I love racing games. I am, if, if you don't mind me saying, a professional racist. Today, <laughs> today I want to attack Jeff Keighley for being a, an absolute knob. The best game category. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I do not. Face. Jeff Keighley, you have ruined, <laughs> you have ruined this. So we're going to correct it. We're going to fix everything that the real, sorry, no, fake game awards did wrong. I have created what the majority call a PowerPoint to reveal to you the viewer voted game of the year racing game of the year in multiple categories because it's not just about one which is the best of the all of them voted by the community for the community racing games are worth more than being bundled into sports categories <laughs> you jeff keely <laughs> jeff I, I do like you really you just really annoy me <laughs> as you can tell increased budget my friends so <laughs> the facts it is not rigged because your votes are the votes that matter it is worth 99.998 because I voted two, based on the math, quick math, I, I'm that 0.002%. The budget has increased every year. Not only do we have the attire, we have not only the normal plastic trophies, we have the golden shit. You too can contribute, of course. Yeah, yeah, I've cut off the text, you can't read it. Games count if they received an update or released this year. And it's actually not a PowerPoint, is the final point. Uh, this is not powerpoint because I can't push the budget that far what we had to do is use google slides which is infinitely better anyway so there you go folks it's time for the first award this is voted by the viewers for the viewers the greatest racing game award show on the internet the best map in a racing game this is very important the map is usually one of the first elements of a game that is created because it's so damn big and right what do we think this is get voted by the viewers the votes are in all of them are <laughs> the crew motor fest wins for the best map wow it is deserved it's fun it's it's bright it's beautiful we love it the crew motor fest folks the first award congratulations ivory tower i say this every year no one has yet claimed their prize but if you would like to i can put your name on it I'm, I'm not going to bother putting names on them because people don't pick them up. I can send them to you. I'll pay postage. This is the best game of watch. This is the one you want to win. <laughs> Jeff Keighley. These are the results. This is how people voted. So the Crew Motor Fest, 60%, which is pretty impressive. And then Forza Horizon 5 won on the map for the set. And then Need for Speed Unbound. Rigged. How is it rigged? This is viewer voted. But I'm kind of surprised that people think the Horizon 5 map is better than Unbound. It was a, it was a weak map, but... Overall, I really don't like Horizon 5's map. <laughs> but see, the viewers have the vote. It's not based on me. I think I voted Motorfest as well. <laughs> so this one needs some clarification. This is best world, not best map. The best world, best theme, best vibe, best atmosphere. The world pulls you in, drags you in by the Vols. I can confirm it is not Roblox, my friends. It is... The Crew Motor Fest, once again, uh, congratulations, Ivory Tower. You've got the best theme, which is kind of annoying. Wait, cut the music, cut it. Uh, I'm kind of fed up of festivals. Can we stop doing them? No more. That's it. We're done now. No more. Okay, it's fine, but like, no more. I give you this little trophy. It's smaller than the others. Here you go, the Crew Motor Fest. The majority winner, almost half of the votes unbound actually got second which is quite surprising to me because i know i personally really enjoyed it not as much as heat but i would say second for me so that's pretty cool totally not just me i promise i, I yeah i see some people saying botted votes i'll I, I have you know that i did my best i enabled that you require google sign in to be able to vote so people had to make a good so this is per google account everyone on google voted clearly mm. yes this is a very important category best progression in a racing game progression recently has been pretty naff i would say maybe too far one way too far the other i'm looking at you forza motorsport what the fuck <sighs> my friends i can reveal to you best progression is gran turismo 7 whoa whoa i can't believe it 
shout out to your own Ah, he's doing it twice! <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Gran Turismo 7, folks. All right, stop the music again. Like, can we just... Is it, they've done a pretty good job with the progression, but like after the menu books, let's not be, let's not, let's not joke around. Like, come on. You want me to buy that money, don't you? Come on, Gran Turismo. You get a lot of one as well, All right? As you can see, this was a really, really close one, actually. The Crew Motor Fest, very close. Pretty weird. Pretty, pretty close overall. Who voted for us a motorsport? <laughs> we need to find them and smear poo on their doorstep. That is disgusting. Best customization. This is a category dear to my heart. The Big Wang Gang represents, this is, let's do it. Best customization so far. It's Need for Speed Unbound. It actually won a category. I can't believe it. I think it's deserved. They did a good job. The customization is good. It's still unmatched in AAA. Because it's Night Runners now. But he's good. As you can clearly see, there was just no competition. <laughs> Need for Speed has got it in terms of customization. EA Sports, you can build a car, but the customization, of course, is not great. Lego 2K Drive in there. You could build a car from scratch. It was pretty, pretty good. And Forza Motorsport. <laughs> Forza Motorsport. You've been called out many times. Best racing game of the year, remember, folks. This is it, folks. This is where you can get involved. The best racing game community. What is the best racing game community you can think of? I can think of one. I think it's fully deserved. Uh, but allow me to create the poll. Like Panther. The Nobeds. Team Pants. Or the Big Wang Gang. Who... <laughs> Which of these communities is, is not rigged? This is a very important vote, friends, in the scheme of things. The poll has begun. The Big Wang Gang. Oh, Black Panther. Big Wang Gang. Black Panther is back and forth between two incredible, very incredible communities. The Nobeds in third place. Team Pants is being pushed out. I love Team Pants. They are the one of the best. In the, in the business. I can't believe it. 400 votes are in. Black Panther is the community winner. The best community on YouTube. Right in the racing game scene. Oh, look. He's here to give a speech. Oh, wait, what's that? He's not allowed. He's not allowed on this channel. I'm not sure why. But congratulations to you. It's also worth noting, we normally have Vin Diesel uh, here, but he's in a bit of trouble recently. Thank you, X. Uh, he's in a bit of trouble, so... We decided not to let him on this year. <laughs> just, you know, just as a precaution. <laughs> this is a very interesting one. Very, very, very interesting. Best audio design. This is super important. We're talking about car sounds, positional sounds. Where can I hear that turbo from? Is it coming from the right direction when I'm sat in the cabin of the beautiful rear engine, twin turbo, big machine? Who does it best? I can tell you straight away, it's Drive Club. Let's not, let's not joke or I think get an update. It's Gran Turismo once again, smashing it. Incredible audio design. I can't believe it. That's the game that used to have the vacuum cleaners. The vacuum cleaners. Everything sounded like the Henry Hoover. And now it doesn't. Congratulations, Polyphony. You did good. You did very, very good. Yeah, it's kind of amazing, isn't it? When you think about like what Gran Turismo 5 sounded like. <laughs> that was something else. Damn. Wow. How far we have come. How far we have come indeed. Jesus Christ. All right, carrying up. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I can't believe Forza Motorsport got any vote. I'm kidding. Nah, F1? I don't know. Is F1 sound good? I don't know. I don't know what Formula One car sounds like anymore. It's been years. <laughs> However, Need for Speed Unbound. I'm surprised to see it so far down and the Crew Motor Fest in second. This is interesting. Best music. I would say the Black Panther channel. It's fantastic music, honestly. 
Uh, you <laughs> you can't say Forza Motorsport. It didn't have any music, did it? It's all on. I guess they've got a couple of unlicensed songs, like original songs. They haven't got any music though, have they? Best music. The Crew Motor Fest. And you know what? <laughs> Do you, know what's really, do you know what's really funny about that? They, they use they use the majority of their music is royalty free. <laughs> I use the same damn music because it's it's from Epidemic Sounds. <laughs> they do have some songs. Like let's, let, I can't I can't just tell you it's all co copyright free, but the majority. <laughs> However, Need for Speed Unbound was only ten percent off. Forza Motorsport. <laughs> it doesn't have any like licensed music. More people like Unbound soundtrack than you think. This is pretty interesting. I really enjoyed it. There's like two songs that I'm like, oh, I can't stand that song. But mate, Girlfriend was in Burnout and like that was like, oh, why is this song in the game? But it was kind of fun. Like it's one of those, you know. Moving on to the category. <clears throat> I quite liked it. I like Punya Pap. Punya Pap is my go. It's on my playlist. I'm not lying. Let me show you. I'm gonna sh I'm sh hang on. You see that? That's Need for Speed. Best arcade racing game. Now, this one is close to my heart because of the fact that I love arcade racing games. They are better most of the time. Sometimes. It is. Are you ready? Who would have thought it's the Crew Motor Fest is the best arcade racing game? Can't, can't believe it. Can't believe it. There's the, uh, the votes. 60%. Who would have thought? Wow. Unbounded second. Why are you dogging my boy Lego 2K Drive? <laughs> Aha. The biggest, also, why does the font look like Sainsbury's? <laughs> That's literally the Sainsbury's font, isn't it? The biggest insult to racing gamers. Forza Motorsport, ladies and gents. And this is what, listen, this is very important because you guys get to vote. Who is deserving of the big sh**? And number two... Is that the right one? <laughs> you hear what I say, but I don't know, 24 to... Or... Other. <laughs> it's been pretty good years. I, I, I can't really... Yeah, it's like... You know. I just wanted... To, I didn't do... Look, listen. The reason F1's on there, if I'm honest, is because I didn't want to just put Forza Motorsport like three, four times, because that would just not be nice. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna give people the choice. This is the viewer vote. We're gonna give you choice. Other roads on there. I'm being fair. Folks, the votes are powerful. I think the community has stood up and, and is ready to speak. I think it's pretty clear, powerful voting here today of who is deserving of this turd. This, oh, right. No, wait. This turd. I'm gonna end it there. Forza Motorsport, congratulations. You have won an award. You won an award at my award show. You've you've done a, a cracking job to w come and claim your prize. Just let me know. Give me an email. Just maybe send it with my Forza Horizon 6 code. Because then you definitely won't get this. Best simulator racing game. Uh, now, I, I might be shouted at by people for calling this a simulator, but you know, I don't care. It's the most accessible, the most fun of the simulator sided games. Of course, it's Gran Turismo 7, folks. How, how could it not be? <laughs> Fully deserved. Here's actually how it went. Gran Turismo 7, absolutely dominated! Forza Motorsport, top effort. Top effort, you did your best. Best driving feel. Now, I thought best handling doesn't really describe multiple games because it's not all about how this game is more simulation and the tires more than the steering wheel feel is. What we need is to say this game feels fun to play and this one doesn't. For example, iRacing. Ain't no one ever had fun with the handling on iRace. I'm saying it. I don't care. You can fight me. The game you do have fun on with the handling is Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo 7, folks.
pick up and play, load of fun, jump in, have a go. However, once again, we are, we are, we, hang on. We are going to say if you're on a wheel, because if you're on a controller, Gran Turismo is not fun to play. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's something else, all right? There's what you needed. This is the information. Motorfest did good, apparently. Good job, Ivory Tower. That's a huge improvement. <laughs> Forza Motorsport. <laughs> Best ongoing game. A game that will be continuing and continue to provide us with great content. Probably for more time to come. It, my friends, is the crew Motorfest once again. Can you believe it? Ivory Tower has excited people so much already with the update number one. <laughs> Just you wait until the next one. I'm gonna say Hoonigan in the bin. You're not ready. It's also worth noting, like just a little fun fact for you. The crew created this whole like giving content, post launch, adding updates. They added a graphics update to the crew. It's like the first game to do it big and proper. And that night game is gonna die. Because of that, uh, you don't get a trophy. You can't add content to a game and then like remove it because the game's gone. How, I, I, your trophy will also have an expiry date. Is that, is that fair? That's what I thought. Offline patch now. Carrying on. This one actually had a bunch of games which shows Everyone's doing a pretty good arm oh, bound. Oh, really? People are not happy with <laughs> Unbound really do that badly? Most anticipated game. What excites you? What makes you rock solid in the excitement part of your brain? My friends, it is. It is. According to viewer votes. Great. <laughs> How how can it be anything else? How can it be anything else? There's just no... <laughs> no, no, guys, come on, please, please, please. Please. As soon as I put GTA 6 on there, it was Jova for everything else. But let's be real, what racing game, well, what game with racing game in it is going to... No, listen, please, listen. <laughs> look, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll make some, I'll make a change. I promise. In fact, I don't need to because I decided to put second and third place. Please ignore 2024 because that, that that's not right. That's not going to happen, is it? With current credit? No, it's not. So, but either way, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown got second and Need for Speed Next actually got third place. So all three of those games, I'm solid for. <laughs> now, it must be said all of this okay was before night runners demo came out they were a bit late so night runners i think would have been higher i genuinely do and it really is surprisingly close to the next need for speed gta is just G gta G G oh my god why did i put that in there <laughs> and car x oh poor recreation oh god i'm sorry <laughs> now this is a category close to my heart very close to my heart. Best small game voted by the viewers right now. This is close to my heart because I, my friends, I'm going to announce as of next year, I will. I, I'm determined to be releasing a game. I've started game dev. This year, I solidified my C-sharp skills. I am making a game. And so I better be on here next year. All right? I better be. Might be 2D or something. Or like, like chill out. It's a mobile game or something. Anywho, is it? Night Runners, Speed Night. You mo you probably what? I'll show you. Don't worry. Sex and Drift, or Car for Sale Simulator 2023. I had fun on all of these games. Yes, all of them deserve applause. 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 Let me refresh your memory. Night Runners has some of the most insane customization I've ever seen in a game, ever. Created by one person. I'm sure they use some outside assets, but created by one person. This has taken them over like four or five years at this point, but they've recreated Japan beautifully, 
customization, racing, intense racing that actually boils my damn piss. It, it's infuriating, if I'm completely honest. But I love that. No game dares to do that these days. Maybe, maybe set some difficulty settings though, like just, you know, for the casuals, not me, obviously. <laughs> Not, not quite a casual. Moving on. Speed night. You gotta huddle up. Huddle em. <laughs> A girl is being bullied by a gangster. What's your choice? <gasps> Mate, this might be the best game I've ever played. In the car. Go He's with an himself. MC. You know what? Fine. I am helping this woman in this. I'm not sitting in the car. Yo. Yo. Vin Diesel trio. You bald headed. B Get off my leg. Get off of her right now. Get off of her right now. I'm Can I? Are you not interested in that story? The best small racing game story. Maybe we're going to have to have multiple small game story categories at some point. I, I don't know. And of course, sex and drift. The game is simple. It's about the uh, dirty and drift. Two of the best things. Look at that small afro. Who is this baboon? Come on. Get your fro game going. Uh, sex and drift. You essentially the car drive. Model, again, looks like it was made in the 90s. But maybe that. And, and play the game. And then you get. Hang on. Let me find it. You get to have relations with women. It's the ultimate dream. Racing and sex. Sorry, drift and sex. It's a good game. Uh, however, it's pornographic. Like, it's just some pictures and some renders and they're, they're, I can't show them on YouTube, so. Carrying on! Final is Car For Sale Simulator 2023. This is a big game. For, I love the game. It's great. Small game. The studio has expanded. They're pretty slow, but I mean, it's a small game. You may call it an asset flip in <laughs> some aspects. Uh, maybe, yeah. However, you can now build things. You can now drift. You can do a lot. You you buy and sell cars at a dealership. And it was fun. I actually had a lot of fun for a cheap game. Pretty good. So my friends, it's time for you to vote. 50% for Night Runners, 29 for Sex and Drift. No one likes Speed Night. That was one of the most riveting, exciting racing game stories I've played for a small game. They did it. They dared and they did. But it's not worked for them in this case. Night Runners is storming away. Car for Sale Simulator is doing good, but Sex and Drift at 30%? Wow! People like drifting and sex. Who would have thought? Great. Night Runners isn't even out yet, I see you say. Well, and if that's the case, and the demo is beating these, I think that says a lot about what to look forward to next year. Also, just get the demo. It's really freaking good. Demo? This is bigger than most full games. <laughs> I'm going to call it there. Night Runners runs away in the night with some absolute domination. Congratulations to Night Runners for the best small game. And it's a demo! I love that game. It boils my blood. Friends, it has arrived. Racing game of the year. I can tell you I was surprised, shocked that my community would do this. I'm going to reveal to you my friends, game of the year, racing game of the year is for, I'm kidding, no it's not. Who would have thunk it is the crew motor first? <laughs> Ivory Tower, let's go. Offline patch for the crew, offline patch for the crew. Offline patch for the crew. Big gold trophy. But it has an expiry date. As soon as you pull the game, I pull your trophy. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you for such a wonderful game that is going to continue to expand. We need more things, more, more events, please. All right, that's my, that's my say. But that, it's not it. How could it be? This is what it looks like. The Crew Motor Fest. Hot Wheels and Forza Motorsport went toe to toe with EA Sports FC. <laughs> That's the way it should have been, Jeff Keighley. That's the way it should have been. And Gran Turismo actually did pretty good with its spec two update. As I said, updates and games. Congratulations to everyone here. So there, my friends, racing game of the year 2023 presented by not Black Panther. I'm He's over there. The official name for the show is Racing Gamers that really actually play racing games. Official Community Annual Racing Game Awards. As I said, if you would like your prize at Game Studios, you are welcome to claim them. They're all waiting for you. Please email me. Tweet me. I did that for tweet. Tweet me. Instagram. The, don't Instagram. I don't, who, who uses Instagram? Come on. And once again, Jeff Keighley. I will keep fighting. I will fight you. I will break onto your stage just like that kid did 
but th I'm gonna say for some motorsport bad. Be prepared. Be ready. Who am I kidding? I'm not getting the door. I'm. I'm just. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs>